तो इनके घर से हम औरतों के बेट में जो बच्चा है कोक में से निकाल के मारेंगे तो इन सुअरों की करो विदाई Well, seems that the Hindus are really intent on proving that they're no less terroristic than the Muslims are. And just stuff like this just keeps proving my point. That Hinduism is just every bit as terroristic and violent and bloodthirsty and demonic as the Luciferian cult of Islam. Both are just two sides of the same Luciferian Jesuit coin. And stuff like this out of the UK just proves it. It also proves the fact of too of, of uh, you know how when you insult Muhammad, you have the Muslims coming after you. Well, if you insult Hinduism, you're going to have the Hindus trying to cut your head off. This is over in the UK. It says on the uh, telegraph.org, sorry, telegraph.co.uk, Hindu extremist group urges brothers in UK to burn down cinemas which show controversial Bollywood epic. Yeah. No different than what you could see from any Muslim over in Pakistan when they would show some, if there's ever, I mean, if they did actually have the guts to show a film making fun of their false prophet Muhammad. In the article it says, The row over a period Bollywood epic uh, that no one has seen yet continues as one right-wing Hindu extremist group says it would ask its brothers in the UK to burn down cinemas after British censors gave it a release date. Protests and threats have been made against the stars and director of the film, I can't pronounce his Indian names, over what the... Rajput Hindu community of Rajasthan say are historical inaccuracies that stains the honor and of the uh, central character, a fable queen from medieval times. India's central board of film and certification returned the film's application for a rating to the director and have announced that the movie's release will be delayed for how long, no one is sure. Meanwhile, Sukadev Singh of the Karmi Sina group, claiming to represent Rajput community, says, quote, every cinema screening basically screening the film, will be burnt to the ground. Threatening violence in the UK, uh, Singh said he would ask the people from the Rajput community in Britain to stage protests against the film as there have been in India. Yeah, burning down cinemas. And by the way, if you, this is not in India, this is over in the UK. So if you think that Hindu terrorism is just limited to India, oh no, there, see, if, if I'll put it this way. Hindu, mass Hindu migration into Europe would bring a lot of the same problems that mass Muslim migration brings. I'll just point that out. That may not be very popular to say, but it's the truth. Continuing on in the article, while the Rajput community is respected, Karni, and I'm probably not saying a lot of this stuff right anyway, but Karni, Sina, and two other, and other groups have been uh, displaying, sorry, enjoying disproportionate air times on India's news channels and editorial pages due to their incendiary comments. Uh, bounties were placed on the heads. So look at this. Bounties were placed on the heads of the lead actress, uh, and several tourist sites in Rajasthan were closed down by demonstrators. Sp this is not from Muslims. This is by Hindus. Remember that. This see, they're they're no different than the Muslims. Speaking on Republic TV, a news channel that often features several people shouting at once in a variety of languages during its debates, Singh added, "I myself wanted to go there to the UK to protest, but the Indian government has confiscated my passport, uh, so I will ask the Rajput community there to protest." He also said that they will go into the international court to get the movie banned and place the and, and at the palace of Pan, 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 I'm probably not going to say that right. I'm going to bother. Uh, will be converted into a working temple without specifying exactly which court or what agreement was made over the historic site. The protest centers around a room and romance between a, a, the main Hindu character uh, and a Muslim emperor. And they get the name there, and they get the actor's name there, which I can't even pronounce a lot of these names. So essentially, it's a film that they find insulting to Hinduism that they don't like, so what are they going to do? They threaten to burn down the cinemas that, that play it. It No different than if you were to show a film mocking Muhammad, you'd have Muslims over in Pakistan getting into a demonic frenzy. Why? Because 
And, and remember, the threats, oh, we're going to burn down your cinema, the Hindus are getting into the same demonic frenzy you could expect from the Muslims. Because, again, it's just two sides of the same Luciferian Jesuit coin. Said it before, and stuff like this just keeps proving my point. Uh, if you want to see Islam and Hinduism in the scriptures, John 8.44 and Proverbs uh, 8.36 gives the uh, good description of the death worship that is present in Hinduism and Islam. So, I wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.